Hello everyone, this is Mondan Raghavan. In this video, we are going to see what is Test and Feedback Plugin from Azure DevOps. This plugin from the Azure DevOps, it does not mean that you need to connect to the Azure DevOps, still you can use as a standalone plugin for your browser testing and desktop application testing. Let's see how to install the Test and Feedback and what are the different features that we can benefit from this plugin. Go to your Chrome Web Store and install or add the extension called Test and Feedback from the Microsoft. After adding this one, you can see the icon like a Test and Feedback icon on your browser. If you don't see, click on the extension and pin it the Test and Feedback plugin. After adding this one, you just click on the plugin and you can see the first settings should be standalone. That means that you are not going to connect to any Azure DevOps or any server so that you can use this plugin only for your own purpose. After doing this one, you will be clicking on the session start. Once you start it, you can enable or you can take the evidences of different application like a browser application, browser tabs, desktop application, and even entire screen. You can see this under the capture browser tab. Here you can click on the browser or you can select the entire screen or you can take for the any application. And after that, for each snapshot, you can add some notes like uh, the steps to go to there or let's say some other description about the specific snapshot. And after that, here you can see you can create the bug. However, we are not using the Azure DevOps, so we are not going to use much on the create bug. And here you can see the entire session timeline. That means that the sequence that you are creating the snapshots. So let's see some of the examples. First, we will go to the browser. And let's say I'm going to take this entire screen. Once you take it, you can have the different options like you can just make some eclipse or you can highlight something in a rectangular manner. And you can point something and mention something over the button. And even you can give the some text over that. For example, demo notes. And even sometimes you might have some personal information if you don't want to show, show it in your evidences, you can click on the blur area and you can just blur that area. So after doing all these things, you can give the relevant names. Let's say, for example, this is the browser tab and click on save. Now this is only the taking the snapshots. Now I'm giving some information like a browser tab evidence. After doing this, you just save it. Again, you will take one more time browser, but this time we are going to take a full screen because in previous screen, you will have only the, the look area or the view area of the browser, but I want to see the URL also. So in that case, I will go to the full screen. Then I will take the full snapshot. I think I need to select. Again, you select it and delete. And again, some different things and blur that. And here, full screen test and save it and add the notes. And save it. So in this time, we can just check what are the sessions details we have on the timeline details. If you click on the timeline details, it you can see you started from this one and you given the notes and you take the another snapshot and you given the notes. Now you are in the current state. Now let's say I'm going to go for some other applications, but which are not browser based. Click on applications and you can see all the application open. Let's say I'm going to take a notepad and share it. And again, you can take some evidences from here. And simplicity, I'm just saving it and giving the notes. Notepad, test, and save it. And again, I'm going to the specific other, some other application, like let's say go into the calculator, or let's say file folder level, share. And here you can see, you can just take the your normal file explorer again you can add the name and save it and again notes So this will be very helpful. Let's say if you're downloading or if you're just uploading some file from your desktop, you can take the snapshot from your file explorer as well. 
and save it. So once you have done everything, then just click on the stop session and your report will be ready. So it will have every information about your, let's say your snapshots and your highlight things and your notes. Even it will have your end of the report tag and the starting of the report. And it will have the started on and what are the things you have done and the total time taken and here you can see the time zone and everything. But you might wonder there is something information on the Azure DevOps. It is something like you need to connect to the Azure DevOps if you want to connect and you can get the full features or let's say full benefits if you're connected to the Azure DevOps. And here you can share this information to anyone as a HTML file. Now let's say you will go to the downloads and here you can see so this is the same HTML file. Just I'm opening from the downloads and here you can see all the things that we have done. But you might wonder, so if you don't want to get this kind of things, it's a simple HTML file. So you can add a simple styling, something like a reporter and a reporter generated text. If you want to see these details, just go to here, right click on the HTML and open with any editor, Notepad or Visual Studio Code. And here you can see this is a simple HTML. So just we will be adding only the reporter part or let's say, you, first of all, we need to get the ID, right? So just look for the DevOps. Here you can see this information mentioned in the, let's say the ID with the report generator text the same way. Here you can see at the end, it is also having the another ID called the report footer. Now what you are going to do is like you are going to add this styling so that it will not be showing the information. Just go to the very top and add that. It is nothing but display none or you can use the visibility hidden so that that will not be shown in your report. After saving this, just go to the same report and refresh. Or let's say open one more time from the downloads. Now this time you can see you don't have any details about your Azure DevOps connection details. At the same way at the bottom also you will not have anything. So that means that here now we can have the HTML report for the different scenarios, which will have the multiple, let's say the stylings or let's say making highlights and writing the notes or even you can just blur some area. So this will be very useful. And some more thing is like, this is from the Azure DevOps. So you don't need to worry about the security of your snapshots or let's say security of your websites. And you can use it for the further investigation as well. Another benefit that you can do is like, since it's a HTML file, you can just open this HTML file and right click and just print. Rather than printing, you will mention Microsoft print to PDF. Then you can change it to landscape so that you will have the full image and just print it. Actually, we are not printing, we are converting into the PDF format. Let's say demo test, enter. And after doing this, even you can have the PDF format. If you open this, this will be the PDF format and it will be having the name snapshots. So this way, this plugin can be used for any testing purposes and we will have the different options rather than going to the different, uh, let's say malware or the third party plugins you can use from the Azure DevOps. So this is all about the test and feedback from the Azure DevOps. So thanks all, thanks for watching and have a great day.